There has been a lot of speculation for the past years about Apple developing air glasses. With Apple adding a lighter sensor to their iPad Pro, it is no wonder that Apple sees air and mixed reality an important addition to their future. The entire Apple Glass project has been leaked by John Prosser, which Apple may not too much happy about. Hello everyone, I'm Chaser and you're watching Tech Square. And in this video, we'll talk about everything we know so far about the Apple Glasses. The Apple Glasses were supposed to be announced at the iPhone 12 launch event in September as an one more thing with subsequent release in Q4 of 2021 or Q1 of 2022, while Apple working on the glass in the time between. However, renowned Apple leakster Max Weinbach has predicted that Apple Glasses may not arrive until 2022 based on his analysis on Apple's supply chain. Anyways, there is so much going on and we wouldn't know for sure when the glasses will arrive until the iPhone launch which is also expected to be delayed to October due to current pandemic. Apple's Air glasses will be simply called the Apple glasses, much like the Apple Watch. Which is not so original since we have Google Glass, however, it's simple and clean. In his video, John Prosser breaks down the information about this device that Apple has been working for quite some time. We have based this video on information that Prosser gave and let's just start talking about the Apple Glass in more details. According to Prosser, the design of the Apple Glass will not be something out of the sci-fi movie. Instead, the glasses would look like more traditional glasses so that they can appeal to the masses. Although the product concept itself is somewhat futuristic, but it's always better for new products to have a familiar, friendly design so that the product is really acceptable by the masses. Also, another key information is who the product is targeted towards. Microsoft's AR mixed reality glasses called the HoloLens are targeted more towards the first line of workers, people working in retail or maybe the doctors in the operating room. But the Apple Glass is not targeted towards them. Instead, it is targeted to masses as part of Apple's connected ecosystem. So the pricing of the device will be $499 according to John Prosser. Of course, for extra bucks, there will be an option for prescription glasses. So the remote price also indicates that the Apple Glass will be targeted towards the masses and thus the design makes sense. There are also rumors according to Apple Insider that Apple could be working on a Steve Jobs Tribute Edition, the Potential Heritage Edition. Although this was shouted down by Mark Garman saying all of this is a complete fiction. So we just have to wait and see what happens. Now John Prosser claims the Apple Glass until he saw was made out of plastic and had white and black finish. Although he was quick to mention that when the device launches, actual material and design could be different. Meanwhile Max Weinbach mentions that Apple will release the device in a light aluminum finish at launch. There could be some design change as well, but the design will follow traditional glasses trend and it won't be some crazy concept. Another incredible feature Apple Glass is expected to come with is embedded display in each lens as opposed to projected ones that were seen in Google Glass. This should result in crisper visuals and more immersive experience. Now the information on the display will be displayed via a UI called Starboard which may sound familiar as the UI you see in iOS is called Springboard. Now the UI can be controlled via hand gestures and according to John Prosser, there is heavy emphasis on proprietary Apple QR codes. The display is also said to be only visible to the wearer and will be completely invisible to the outside viewers. Prosser also confirmed there will be no tinted option as apparently it is harder to project on tinted glass. Also, Apple could allow users to change the handle of the Apple Glass similar to what they allow users to do that with their Apple Watch band. This way, users will be able to change into different handles to match ambience therein. The Apple Glass will not be doing the processing on your face, instead it will be offloading all the processing to the iPhone. Much like what was done with the original Apple Watch and then Apple will slowly reduce the dependency with newer generation. However, since the Apple Glass will be dependent on the iPhone for all the processing, this would require a seamless connectivity between the iPhone and the Apple Glass. This is where the rumored 802.11 AY Wi-Fi standard comes into play. It's a short-end Wi-Fi standard that will be perfect for Apple Glass and the iPhone. The upcoming iPhone 12 is expected to feature the remote short-range Wi-Fi standard, although that doesn't mean the older generation iPhones won't work with the Apple Glass. However, older iPhones will likely to have a limited capacity if any support at all. Another way Apple is going to make the device friendlier by not adding any camera on the Apple Glass. Instead, Apple is going to add lighter sensor which will sit at top right hand side of the glasses. Those of you who are not familiar with the lighter at the basic level, 
Light a 3D maps and environment by calculating the distance between different points and can be found inside Apple's latest iPad Pro and upcoming iPhones. LiDAR will also take care of the things like reading, hand gestures, and translating QR codes into dimensional images. Although the LiDAR sensor on the latest iPad Pro works hand-in-hand -hand with a pair of cameras, however, the Apple Glass is not going to feature any secondary camera or photographic features and the reason behind it is that people might take this negatively while taking face-to-face -face with someone wearing a face-mounted camera. But it would be really cool to have an eye-level camera that will be capable of recording anything that you're seeing. And hopefully, Apple will add cameras eventually with feature generations as Apple Glass becomes more popular and widely acceptable. Charging the Apple Glass is said to happen via the use of designated charging stand or through the use of a wireless charging case. But we can expect a shorter battery life in the first generation of Apple Glasses. In terms of audio, the Apple Glass will not feature any built-in speaker as it will make the device bulky and will add unnecessary weight, ruining the everyday wearable design. Apple already has an established AirPods lineup for that, which should go alongside with the Apple Glass perfectly. So this is all very exciting news, but you should take them with a pinch of salt even though these leaks come from some reliable leaker. Only time will tell what will turn out to be true. And that brings us to the end of our video. If you liked the video, then hit the like and share with your friends. Comment down below to let us know your thoughts on the rumored Apple Glass. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and press the bell icon to get notified for our future videos.